Uh, the purpose of this little demonstration is to uh, show the amount of friction or friction resistance in various lubricants. What I have here is a hardened bearing and I'm putting this against another bearing which I have cleaned so that there's no residual uh, lubricants from any previous demonstration. So we're going to put this on here. And I'll take a standard product that's out there on the market and apply some of this on the bearing. And then we're going to show the amount of pressure it would take to seize that bearing. Paper towel, just take off some of the surface grease. Did you take it from here? Sure. So I'm just taking off the surface grease. Technically, there is a lot of lubricant still there. So it's uh, quite a mark. Now uh, what with a fresh uh, surface here, smooth. We take uh, this uh, blue lightning. Now this is Tom, this is your company that is performing uh, this uh, magic potion uh, blue lightning. Huh? And we'll apply it there. Okay, now, let me get this. now this is where it sees the last time. Yeah. About there. Yeah. So now we're at double. Wow. Whoa. So you basically reduced it by approximately 50%. Exactly. And the name of that product again that you just used, Tom, for your company is called? Blue Lightning. Okay, I've taken all the surface grease off. I'll take the surface grease off this. Put this back in place. Now this is without the lubricant. This is Basically without the any lubricant, lubricant has been removed by paper towels. So we're so in a virtually clean got, surface. Uh, if you have a machine operator who don't grease their machine uh, every day like they should, this is what's going to happen with our grease. That's where it sees before. This without grease. That's still about the same amount of friction reduction. Now, the reason it actually went further than the last time, if your bearing happens to heat up, it makes this work even better. So I guess we remove all stuff what previously on the bearing. And we apply, um, I don't know, half a milligram. I don't know how much, but uh, most very, of stuff, very small. Uh, those powder, you can look closer, uh, drop down there. So you can look on the side of the bearing if you can. Um, I don't know if you would be able to see any. Uh, so I'm not sure how much I put on exactly on a bearing, but uh, we will try. Just, uh, I guess it is uh, some kind of nano cold. And uh, we can start, but you can pull because you are a professional puller. <laughs> okay, turn the scale around my way so we can see it. Okay, we're going to uh, start it up. That's where the previous grease okay. is. Okay. So, so it, it, it went to the same place where mine see that's a lot of pressure with the way this yeah but out. I mean one thing what we have to remember this is just a dry stuff without any extra grease which is coming always yeah. through the bearing so and this is a what is called like nano coat 
so this is like nano coat on uh, top of the bearing and uh, i mean i'm not the best judge uh, uh, how much it went on a bearing right so we have to use a microscope to see it <laughs> but amount of this grease it was not very much yeah yeah it was uh, just whatever it is i no uh, don't you don't have to use your fingers because it's oil on it all right <laughs> <laughs> but what i think like what we can do but we can do oils on most applications that you're gonna do uh sometimes yes sometimes no but what we can do we can do a second step like uh, if, if we had a if we had a client who had used oils before so what we're going to be do, into the battle yeah i understand so what we can do we can supply this stuff during its uh friction right so that's how it will work so i will put a little bit on a paper towel and we'll run this machine again to see if it will work anyhow okay just a little bit on a paper and you're going to keep the paper towel yeah i will put uh so we start machine yeah and um i will put it on a bearing so it will run uh, well, more or less constantly so yeah. let's go <laughs> I'm continually adding pressure. Uh -huh. But uh, did you catch okay. the numbers? If we could see the scale, uh -huh. the, the, the regular grease that's sold mostly on the market sees at about right here. Okay. The one I had just sees at about right here uh -huh. on the second application because it's uh, heat activated. Yep. Uh, went to about here. Yep. Yours went over here. What I want to do so, now is I want to find out if this magic potion will actually work in a standard grease uh, sold on the market but uh, we cannot really dissolve it right now don't let me i just saw the effect of it of how it works there and do you have some on there yeah okay let me get this scale And just put it up against that but not tight or what would you, yeah just dab it here dab it all around the wheel this is what the, i want to dab it all around <laughs> most of it is down there so let's see if this magic potion number nine <laughs> this is where it would have seen without your powder on there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's not sizzling at so I mean it's not trust me on this one buddy. This is what I've been looking for. So I guess That's about 30% more than your stuff. Well, oh, more. alone. Wow. And I told you the other night, I know mine's good, but it's right. not so good. This is a food grade lubricant. It means like it's completely safe for any food lines. And uh, this is uh, also based on the uh, same product as I showed before. What I'll do, I will apply with paper towel uh, this food graded lubricant on a bearing and we'll see how it works uh, actually you know what previous uh, test was ceased because electricity went down <laughs> we blew the circuit breaker at 30 amps so it wasn't the binding of the bearing it was a circuit breaker on the boat all right so i use a uh, such amount of uh, grease and we'll turn machine so uh, we'll uh, so it's about right here 
Did a, that blow the circuit breaker? I don't know. Yeah, it does. From what I can see here, this will reduce the friction from standard lubricants in excess of 50%. Yeah, and uh, this is a, not an expensive lubricant. It's a just, I believe, like petroleum jelly used or whatever. With, 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 with stuff. Yes. Yeah. So technically, this, I knew it worked. This is a media to deliver uh, this uh, Correct. ink to the face. And that's what we had with the other one. It was just Thank a, you. a delivery. It was just something to deliver your product. Absolutely. To the, yeah. Tom, we have one more lubricant that you have in the glass there. That red lubricant, what is that? Uh, this is the smoothest stuff we've ever, uh, this is smooth. And that's it for the testing on the Pacific Odyssey Thank you at guys. Falls Creek.